NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has been watching a large, dark storm on the planet Neptune disappear before our very eyes, or telescope mirror. The first and only spacecraft to visit Neptune was NASA's Voyager 2 in 1989. It discovered two immense dark storms churning through Neptune's thick blue atmosphere. Voyager 2 then headed out of the solar system, and since then, our primary means of watching Neptune's storms has been the Hubble Space Telescope. Our atmosphere on Earth makes it hard to look at blue light in high resolution, so Hubble is currently the only telescope that is able to see these storms. The larger of the two storms Voyager 2 discovered on Neptune was called the Great Dark Spot, because it looked very similar to the Great Red Spot on Jupiter. Jupiter's Great Red Spot has existed for hundreds of years, but when Hubble looked at Neptune in 1994, the Great Dark Spot was already gone. Instead, there was a new storm on the Northern Hemisphere, which was named the Northern Great Dark Spot. Since then, that spot has also disappeared, and now in total we've observed five different dark spots on Neptune. We can see that large storms on Neptune form and dissipate much more rapidly than storms on Jupiter. And there's a lot of diversity in what Neptune storms look like and how they move. These dark vortices on Neptune present atmospheric scientists with an amazing opportunity to learn about how storms work on a different world. But because there is so much in the universe that Hubble looks at, the telescope had only been observing Neptune once every few years, which wasn't frequent enough to watch the formation or demise of any one particular storm. Since 2014, however, Hubble has begun a project called the Outer Planet Atmospheres Legacy Program, or OPAL, to gather global maps of our gas giant planets every year for the remainder of Hubble's operation. Now, for the first time, using data from OPAL and additional Hubble observations, Hubble has captured time-lapse images showing the gradual death of a storm on Neptune. The vortex pictured here is dredging up material from deep inside Neptune's atmosphere, possibly such as hydrogen sulfide, which would make for a pretty smelly storm. In the first image from 2015, the storm is over 3,000 miles across, big enough to stretch across the entire Atlantic Ocean from Boston to Portugal. The storm is dark in blue wavelengths, but overshadowed at green and red wavelengths by nearby companion clouds. The contrast of the dark vortex faded quite a bit by late 2017, though the feature was still over 2,000 miles wide. Seeing this storm unfold gives scientists a chance to test their models of how they predicted an anti-cyclone may interact with the wind jets on Neptune. This particular vortex is not behaving how some dynamical simulations predicted, which is great because that means there's a lot left to learn on Neptune. The Hubble Space Telescope is up to that task, of advancing scientists' understanding of planetary atmospheres.